Everybody's all just. Everybody's got Richard Corey here on uh, the truck, as you can see, I'm a, a Sedona training post, and uh, it's quite an art uh, complex itself, as you can see, there's a lot of artists around inside the trading company, but you can see all the different art and all the different artists who are involved in the community, you know, but a lot of the art here is done by local, local artists, and uh, probably several different artists. They start pretty nice, real nice art. Then you have the the the, the wildflower uh, lower end and flower end, the wildflower end, and this is a really nice uh, motel, a hotel. And right in the background is a beautiful mountain, almost blends into that hotel. So it's it's the community and the art and all the different um, businesses are trying to work together. And as you can see right here. A little bit more is uh, they're having their monthly or bi-weekly uh, art fair here. It's more of a craft show, blend with some art there. But they have this in this lot right here against the next uh, so so no trading post on almost every weekend. So it's, it's kind of a nice thing to do with your joy. But the whole program today is just checking out some of the art in Sedona and uh, maybe um, evaluating the whole area a little bit, uh, the importance of the art, or has it just become one another big community? Uh, hope you like the program, thank you. around here. You can see those Dean Mountains in the background. Uh, music on the beat in action. It's quite so nice in here. Have some kind of related uh, for art. There's a printing shop up there. Then there's a, um, a gallery as you can see. Sedona something. Looks like Sedona looks like it's artistry from some sort. Like right, there's a another gallery of some sort. So the whole area is full of art. And you have these uh, uh, far out sculptures. You have the beauty, beauty of the mountains and the serenity of the whole area. So it's all blended in with the commercial. And that's what it is, it's commercial. And all working together. And you can see this massive statue, white uh, Indian and uh, the squad and the eagle on top of his head. It's really quite unique. It looks like it's all grand, but I don't know what's made of it. It's really, really quite nice. And then in the background you have the other uh, pieces of sculpture, but this is really a nice area, a nice gallery. But all these pieces, uh, you see them all the time, but we never really do stop and look at them, do we? Even me being an art show, producing an art show, and this is a, this is a big gallery right here. And you can see this incredible piece, this massive eagle uh, symbol of America. It's really quite, uh, quite breathtaking. Even with some reflecting on it, it should be quite beautiful. Here is quite a exhibition of art. The whole area is full of art. And then directly in front of us is the most incredible mountains you've ever seen. I can't imagine.
address this place that looked 100 years ago, you know, just 100 years ago, probably must have been incredibly spectacular to everybody who passed through here. Now, as you can see, you can hear the cars going by constantly, and uh, it's all, a lot of it's commercial, and uh, it seems like it's working together, but is it? That's the question. Now, you can see this is another gallery here, and um, with some unique stuff. Looks like they're redoing, I imagine they're always redoing galleries. You know, this is kind of a unique horse made out of uh, iron. And this is like all kinds of different, I can't imagine what kind of parts they are from. Could be tractors, cars, buses, who knows. But what most of it's made out of, it's really quite nice. And uh, as we walk down here looking at these things, you can see this uh, incredible stainless steel horse. This must have taken an incredible lot of work. It's quite awesome, and I'm sure it took for years to make, and uh, it turned out as a centerpiece. And you can see this horse right here is quite huge. It must weigh tons. But artists were very passionate about their work, and uh, a lot of times they just do it for the love of it. Of course, all we know, they need to make a living. It's an interesting cactus right there, huh? Then a, a young lady swim, swimming or swinging in the pond. They have a lot of stuff here. As you can see, this is all open to the public, I'm sure. It's on exhibition. And, uh, I'm sure they get a good crowd in here all the time. But the whole community is like this, full of art. You know, then you have some of the... Another location here is a marketplace, and it's uh, exactly what it says is... Uh, it has a lot of galleries and shops in here also. And uh, it has, uh, you know, all the restaurants and everything else. But... Uh, It's quite unique and quite nice. A lot of galleries inside. I can't go in because I don't have the permission to go in. I'm just shooting some of the stuff out right here on the outside that belongs to the community. As you can see, the beautiful sky. And it's going to be a beautiful day today. It already is. The uh, Ravenheart Coffee Shop is uh, getting some customers or some customers are leaving happily. Anyway, there's a lot more galleries and a lot of other locations here in Sedona. So take, check them out. As you can see, these incredible mountains in the in the distance. With the uh, the community of Sedona and the main throughway working uh, together, it still retains the beauty of the mountains and integrity of them and doesn't really uh, take away from the uh, community, but it'll just give you an idea of the difference. Starting back here to see if we can do it. This is we shot the mountains. there, huh? Then you can see the Harkins Movie Theater, which is one of the big businesses of the community. Uh, theater industry, you know, is always big in, in communities of art. But well, this is an artist gallery right here, the art mark, they call it. And inside it's full of uh, Places that artists can uh, rent out or lease or put their art in and try to sell it to uh, the general public. 
and said they're going to be in one of the largest um, tourist areas in the country, I think they'd probably do pretty good. But uh, you have the opportunity to show off your art. And there's quite a nice selection in all kinds of different art and craft. So, uh, someone had pretty big handlebar uh, America. America's Sedona, as you can see in the background, is kind of a uh, open kind of an area with hundreds of not thousands of different kinds of signs. It draws a lot of people into here. And uh, I don't know what sort of signs or I think there's all kinds of different pottery, ladders, Indian wear. It has a lot of uh, different things to draw people in. And this big chicken, maybe he's a piece of art too, by somebody. Got all the cars in the beautiful mountains. Good people take pictures of constantly of the mountains. As you can see, the traffic gets pretty hectic too. And uh, coming on, going. So you have to be. Uh, and you're good defensive driving coming to Sedona because this is not exactly the widest, best uh, road coming into Sedona, but it works. And you can see here that uh, this place is quite popular with people. I'm sure a lot of tourists take things home from here, being very uh, unique with some of the art. Like some of us from Mexico and some of us from uh, Native Americans, Chile, everything.